Welcome back to Arise Exchange. Cyber attacks against large companies have surged by a staggering, get this guys, 40%. Symantec surveyed businesses with more than 2,500 employees and found that five out of six were targets of cyber attacks last year. That's huge. And these high profile data thefts against companies like Sony, JP Morgan Chase, Target, Target of course, and Home Depot cost each tens of millions of dollars. But businesses are fighting back, making cybersecurity a top priority. Well, joining us via Skype with more on this fast-growing market is our buddy Scott Schober, security expert and CEO of Berkeley Valtronic Systems. You know, Scott, you know, I'm looking over the data here, and it's good to see you, of course. Good uh, to see you. The, the thing that I'm finding most interesting to me is that the healthcare industry has been affected the most. Yeah, it's surprising. Uh, you look at Anthem the hack and many other hacks, it is certainly startling where they're really targeting the healthcare. In fact, it's been some 37% of the market that's been affected. Well, I gotta ask, you know, what are they looking for? What, what money is there to be made? Are these personal attacks on people's personal systems? What, what are they gaining here? What are they looking for? Yeah, a great point. It's more than just getting their social security number, their address. It's really finding information about their medical filing and procedures, and that way they can actually file false health insurance claims, fraudulent claims, and they're very valuable. They're worth hundreds of dollars each as opposed to just stealing someone's general identity or their credit card, which may be only a couple dollars. So medical fraud is becoming a growing, growing problem and extremely profitable for these cyber hackers. Indeed, of course, retail represented 11% of the breaches. We heard so much about that, of course, with Target and, and Home Depot. Education represented 10% of these, but of course now where there's money to be made, Scott, as you know, people are jumping on the bad wagon, but this time for good cause. Now, just today, U.S. arms maker Raytheon announced it was acquiring the cybersecurity firm Web WebSense in a deal worth almost $2 billion. It seems anything involving cybersecurity is absolutely golden right now. Oh, absolutely. And it makes sense if you think about it. Raytheon is strong in the military and they work with many of these large giants. But what they don't have is a strong base from a cybersecurity standpoint in the commercial world, in the civil world. By, by acquiring WebSense, they get 20,000 customers instantly. They're in the cybersecurity business across many verticals. This could be very profitable for them. And in the next five years, cybersecurity expenses are going to be well over $50 billion companies are spending. So they're in a very good spot right now. Scott, tell us about ransomware. That apparently is on the rise right now. Yeah, ransomware is a huge one. It's interesting. And what they're doing is, is these cyber hackers is they're placing malicious software onto our computers. And it simply happens when we receive an email and there's an attachment inside that email. If we click on it, then all of a sudden, they can lock our computer. It becomes hostage, basically. And it, it, it basically will encrypt all of the files on the hard drive on our computer, or it could be the mobile phone, and they charge a ransom. $300 is the first ransom note. If you don't pay it in a week, they basically destroy the key, and you can never get your files back. This is and, and most of the time, they will not give it back, even if you pay the ransom. So you got to be careful. So I suggest don't pay the ransom. 80% of these cyber thieves will not give you the key to unlock your encrypted files. So it's scary stuff. It is scary. We've talked about this many times uh, over the past year, Scott. And I got to tell you right now, I'm glad that uh, some of the companies are ratcheting up their defenses against this. But what about, and the lastly here, uh, the average person? What can they do to protect themselves? Well, well, good protection, especially even against ransomware, back up your files on a regular basis. Have a regular backup plan in place. So if you are a victim of a phishing attack, malicious software, ransomware, you just ignore the cyber thief, erase your hard drive, and reinstall your backup. And that's very prudent. And never click on any attachment. These phishing scams where you see something in an email, just don't do it, even though it looks convincing. The cyber thieves are getting better and better, and more people are clicking on them. So just don't, don't, don't click on them. It's much safer. I miss the days of the rotary phone, Scott Schober. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you for having me on. Great talking.